In the own vehicle's windshield? Yeah, he smashed his windshield. Was he yelling at somebody or just screaming to himself? Himself, himself, and he did scream at a couple customers outside. Now he's inside screaming. Okay, is he injured at all? No, it does not appear so. What is he screaming? Do you know what he's saying, or is he just yelling at the top of his lungs? He's just yelling at the top of his lungs. Mother after this, mother after that. Like he's just yelling at customers at this point. Okay. What's his description? He's a tall, white male, older, maybe 50-ish. He's got a, he doesn't have much hair, but he has like a black beard. He's wearing a red and white striped shirt. Red and white, black, black. Travesty. I last fall they had the hurricane. Yeah. So they lost all that. How'd you do? How'd you do during that? Same thing. Same thing. Lost, lost our asses. Yeah. But I, listen, I don't want to give you my grief, sir. I just want to um, fulfill whatever you need. We well, got any idea on your boss? Sure. You got any guns, bombs, hand grenades, explosives? No, no. I just come up from the house. Okay. Uh, this thing ain't getting fuel, the filter, and it's, I always saw, saw these trucks and said, wow, that looks cool, two tanks. Yeah. You don't want two tanks. You no. Want one tank. <laughs> yep. You got a... Hey, Mr. Hicks, I appreciate you coming out, man. I'm sorry okay, I took you off your detail. Oh, you're good, man. You, um, you got an updated license? Uh, I do at the house. At the house? Okay. Just sit tight for me, all right, I man? Had the, I had that in my pocket because I was on my bicycle. I rode up to the store, had some ID on me, and then I thought I had my current one, but it's, it's in my wallet. It's actually on the cupboard, it's just inside the door. Mm -hmm. I was just running up to get... See, I got gas for a lawnmower. Yeah. Okay. Um, all right, give me just a second, all right, man? Sure. Can I get out of the truck? Or just, stay just stay tight for me, all right, man? Hey, go ahead. Go ahead and have him step out. 31 right on his pocket. Can I step out of the truck? Hey, yeah, you're gonna step out right, th right towards him. Go ahead and step him. out for me. Yeah, right towards okay. him. Thank you. Yeah, man. They say you don't have any weapons on you? No. Alright. Go ahead, let me see that. Let me see it. What is it? Go Pick ahead. it up. Give me your hand. Give me your hands. What, what is it, guys? Easy. Huh? Relax. Don't resist. Don't All right. resist. Don't resist. All right. Relax for a minute. I'm not resisting. Anymore. Okay, stand straight up. Stand up. There you go. Hey, just relax for a minute. Please don't bend my arm. Oh, okay. Just don't relax. Or, uh, please, just please don't bend my arm. Okay. We're not. That's that's it right there. Okay. So okay. The All right. What'd you stuff in there? A pipe. Okay. Just weed or what? Hemp pipe. A hemp pipe. Okay. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. That's all. I saw it in your pocket, and then when it drops out, you try to. To hide it from us? Well, I have my lighter fall out of the pocket too. Okay. Well, you see where that's a little concerning to us? Sure. I don't know if you're in here smoking crack. No, no, no. Meth. I don't know. All right. If it's a hemp pipe, no big deal. Okay. All right. But we'll go from there. Did you give him your ID? Yeah, I got it. Okay. All right. You got any weapons or anything no. on you? Nothing at all. Okay. Just gonna... All right. Just pat let's, him down real let's quick. Pull him back there real quick. Yeah. More open space. You want me in the car? No, no man. No, I'll sit in the car. Nope. I'm just gonna put you right back here. I'll the, sit in the car. Back to your car. I don't even wanna have. I don't even wanna put you in the car. Just Spread your feet for me. No problem. no problem sitting in the car. Spread your feet for me. Nice and wide. You ain't got a squat. Uh, just said spread your feet. Do you have anything on you? Just gonna stick me, poke me, stab I got, me. I got a um, like a like a luggage uh, strap for a belt mm -hmm. on, my, on my inner shorts. That's it. Okay. You don't have any it's, needles, it's, it's, no knives. No, no, no. It's got a. It has like a dog type connector. Okay. Yeah, I'm not worried about that. I'm just worried okay. about needles. No, man. no, <laughs> no. I don't have no needles. I'll tell you. No, sir. Uh, the help usually no, helps with my arthritis. I got in my hands, but I, yeah. I don't use uh, heroin for that. Well, I say you use heroin. I don't use heroin at all. 
A lot of people think I do. What's one pants leg longer than the other? You know, I just rolled them up because I came up earlier and I ran out of gas on my scooter. And that's that's what this gas is for, for my scooter and my lawnmower. Yeah. Is this just? I had a pa I had a pair of shorts on and they got they get, or shorts? they got trash. There's a big rip. I mean, if I don't have these pants on, I'm exposed. Oh, okay. I need well, that's how you face your car then. All right, so you ain't exposing nothing to sure. anyone. Sure, sure, yes, sir. Don't want your glory out there for yeah, everyone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why I got these long pants on. That's a good thing. Yeah, I'm just going too fast. I should stop, take a break, and stuff. I. I'm gonna pull these back up, all right, man. The lady was upset with me because I got upset about the pump's not working because the shift changed. Give it a second on but I wasn't really upset with her. I was just kind of bummed out because of the bike week is so slow. Yeah. Spread your feet nice and wide for I me. I went up town last night. Spread your feet nice and wide for me. There you go. There was nobody. Stand up straight. Thanks. There was nobody. What's your name? Scott. Scott. All right. Uh, just stay calm. Okay. All right. This this is the worst right here. Okay. We're just checking to make sure you don't have nothing else on you. It's going to hurt you, hurt me, nothing, you know. Yes, straight in this league? Nothing like that. All straight right. Thank league. you. Yeah. Straight in this league. Straight out. Like 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 that? Yep. I didn't know what you meant. I got you. Okay. He said this is this is hemp yep. that you're smoking in. Yes. Okay. Helps with my arthritis and my some my fingers. Okay. Fair enough. Um, you got a test kit? Okay. Grab that. All right. We'll make sure you get your lighter back. So we'll just put that right there. Okay. Um. Anything else in the vehicle we should know about? No, nothing at all. No other. Look all you want. Okay. I appreciate the honesty. So, so tell me. Here, why don't you turn around? I didn't even know I had that. Why don't you turn around? I got you. All right. Just lean up against the back of your, your truck. How's that? I thought I'd... I, 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 I have to ask you, gets... is there something going on with your legs? Like, do you have I'm like a diagnosis? I'm a truck driver. I just lost about 50 pounds. Okay. My legs were taking a beating. I've been in that yeah. truck. This is the first bike week I've been home in six years. Oh, really? Yeah, I'm usually out trucking right now. I got you. Okay. Um, Being home is kind of a adjustment. Okay. Have you taken anything else tonight? No. Nothing? Uh, you smoked a little hemp, that was it? I smoked the hemp, and okay. I took some Ad Advil. Okay. Um, and nothing else? You didn't know any other kind of contraband? No. Illegal substances? No. Nothing like no. that? Okay. All right. Um, so tell me what's going on tonight with the... What's your windshield, man? The windshield was like that. It was like that? I just, I, I, didn't, I don't drive this truck. I just drove up here for, to get gas. Oh, well, reason, reason we got called up here is somebody said that they saw you punch your windshield and, and break your windshield. Well, they're, maybe they've been smoking hemp. I don't know. Okay. <laughs> I'm just telling you why. I'm I, just telling you. I, I, okay. I punched it, but not tonight. Not tonight. I punched that at my house. I, dude, I, I don't but it care already, if you did it was already or not. Cracked. I, I don't care if you did or not. It's your property. It's not illegal to break your own property. I'm just trying to figure out what's going no, on. No, I didn't do that tonight. If something got you upset? Anything like that? Yeah, I'm upset. There's no bikes. There's no bikes. There's no bikers. Okay. Why? Why? Like the economy is. All well, my friends. Oh, okay. Businesses. Okay. But you shouldn't get upset about that. I mean. Okay. The whole thing, the, the whole the thing, the I call it the thing, whatever they call it, you know, the virus, whatever. It's bullshit. Yeah, corona. Yeah, I, it's it's <laughs> bullshit, man. Yeah, I think it's a little little crazy too, but it's bullshit. If they figured out how to do what they did with 9/11 without knocking down New York City, mm -hmm. in my that's kind of my opinion. I don't know that for fact. Right. But it's bullshit. I got gotcha. you. They hate a, they hate a president so much they're gonna do whole something like this. I got gotcha. you. You never know with these people. I I know. I don't trust nobody, man. But if you're gonna have a government, we have the best. We yep. have the best police. Well, well thank you. No, I appreciate thank you. that. <laughs> if I if I get smeared on the road, you know, Mr. Mr. Sexton comes out there, puts me in something, sends me back to well, whoever wants to claim my. I see some stuff out there, sir. I hear you. And you guys come around and help us out, truck drivers, send you back to wherever your loved one wants your remains. Yeah. Who uh, who'd you drive for? I drive for Lessers. I'm on. I'm on evaluation for my blood pressure. Oh, okay. All right. Oh, so you got to go back and get your medical yeah. release. I got you. Yeah, it's frustrating. What, what do you What do you call? Fro frozen. 
frozen. Yeah, right, all, so our, all reefers. The reason why, I mean, I'm going through to get qualified. I'm qualified, but I, I'm trying to qualify for their. I injured my knee, and then during the injury on the knee, they took my blood pressure and it was high. I got but you. I passed my DOT, all that stuff I passed. Okay. I went back to the doctor, Dr. Ewan in Ormond. He, he wrote it down, but they didn't, weren't satisfied with the report. They wanted more. And I'm, not, I'm not a doctor. I'm a truck driver. I got you. So it's so frustrating for me that I'm trying to get back to work. And they got, I said to the guy, I said, send the doctor what you want. Right. He sends me an email saying I need to do this and that. I'm not a doctor. All right, I got a cough. Do you mind if I... Yeah, cough, man. <coughs> I'm not here to be a jerk to you. I'm, you know. No, you've been awfully so. professional. Well, and I appreciate polite. that. Thank you. You don't have to be so nice to so. me. Well, I got no reason not to be, well, right? Well, I've had officers be very curt, and I understand where they're coming from. Well, I mean, you ain't done nothing wrong to me. You've been nothing but respectful to me. Thank you, sir. So, but you understand why we pulled you out yeah. the way we did, okay? Yeah. Because... I don't know if that's if, if that's that a hemp pipe or positive for All right, so cannabis. so what we're going to do here, okay? Uh, mm -hmm. we're testing it right now, okay? If it's over 3%, that does indicate that it tests positive or presumptive positive for THC. And then okay. What? Um, if that's the case, we're going to look into uh will I be arrested? You, well, hold on. Do you have uh, you ever been arrested before? Yes. For what? Drug paraphernalia. Drug paraphernalia? Okay. Uh, have you ever missed a court date or anything like that? No. Never missed a court date? I wouldn't say never, but no. I, okay. When was the last time you were in trouble? Let me ask you that. 2014. 2014, 15. Right. Was that when, or, so you don't know that you've ever missed a court date? You just don't think you have? I don't believe I ever have. Okay. Well, if that's the case, um, worst case scenario, what we're looking at is I send you off with uh, some paperwork and a court date and that's it. I won't be taken into custody. Because my roommate uses that pipe and he smokes THC. I smoke hemp. Okay, I got you, but you That's understand. All I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. I hear you. I hear you. You might prove me wrong. I hear you. Um, and, and if it's nothing, it goes back into your property and you have a seat and, you know, we'll we'll discuss the rest of it. Here, I'm going to pull your pants up because they're kind of falling. There you go. Thank you. All right. Um, Can you pull that side up? Yep. There you go. Thanks. Um, so again, even if if your your roommate does smoke THC out of it, it's in your possession, right? Yes. I mean, it's that's, that's kind of okay. that's kind of where so we're at with what will it. I okay. Get? Uh, it's basically the same thing. Uh, well, drug paraphernalia, misdemeanor. If you don't have any no, failure to appears for court, I can cut you loose with what's called a notice to appear. All right. Basically, we sit here. I write out the report. And uh, I print it out, I give it to you, and I send you on your way. What, is it contraband? Mm -hmm. Drug paraphernalia? Yeah. It's illegal to have paraphernalia on you. But that's why we have to test it. It has to test positive for narcotics well, in maybe, order to be paraphernalia. It may. Maybe he didn't it, use it, it recently. Maybe he didn't. I didn't even realize I had it with me. Yeah, I saw it. I was over here while you were talking to Officer Hicks over here. You didn't see me. And I could see it sitting right there in your... My pipe? Yeah. Yeah, I saw it sitting right there. Yeah. It was almost out, of out of your pocket. I was so. just working in the yard and I wanted to come out and get some gas for that scooter and the lawnmower in the morning. I got you, man. I pushed that scooter Ooh. home from here and I live in Brandy Hills. Oh, really? So I'm kind of tired, you know. I pushed. Yeah. I was going to leave. I came here and got frozen coffee. Mm -hmm. I was going to leave it up there and then go walk home and get, come back with the gas cap key and get gas and then ride home. But I just pushed it home. I got you. And then I hopped in this thing. I don't drive this thing until like the windshield gets fixed. Yeah. Like I just want to get gas, you know. I got you. Is that what you're putting in the cans? Yeah. Okay. I smacked that windshield, but not here, not at all. I mean, okay. like I said, I I was cleaning out the back. Mm -hmm. I was cleaning out the. I got like most of it cleaned out. Hey Scott, let me tell. But let's, let's go have a what seat. What happened right. is? Can we have a seat? When I threw over the here? stuff on the ground, they thought I was having a fit. I got you. But I was just trying to take, I was just trying to use my time while I was waiting for them to switch shifts. I hear you. Hey, I'm going to have you sit on this curb, okay? I should have went in earlier. All right, spin it. around. I'm going to help you down. But I thought maybe one of them would have told me that the pumps were, were now on. Can I, I, go, can I go like this? Yeah, whatever you need to do. Can I take a knee like mm -hmm. that? Or? 
you can't I'd rather you be on your butt we'll help you get get back up when it's time to get up I think I got to do it like this okay however you need to do it just yeah I've been getting more uh it's great is that cuz that cuz your your it's, legs I mean it sucks not having money but it I, it's been helpful to my health yeah I got like you. I said, I must have lost about 20, 30 pounds. Wow. That truck. That's a, that's a that lot. Truck, you know, it's a good job. It's just so hard. It's hard. Some guys are really good at it. They'll, they'll drive their shift. They'll get out. They'll walk up to the truck stop. Mm -hmm. Walk back to their truck. But it's been hard for me. I, I'll get done with the shift, and I'll climb back there, and I'll click on that. That thing runs off the fuel. Mm -hmm. Hey. I know. I uh, I drove I drove mail in, in Europe for the Germany. army. What country? Germany, all over Germany. Oh my God. Yeah. Cal oh, Cabo. Right? What's that? Cabo. Okay. No, I drove the army, the 915s, which is kind of like a day truck. Is our U.S. trucks? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's, a, it's called a M9 915. It's kind of like what you would call a regional or a day truck. Heaters, those kerosene heaters that run off the diesel? We didn't have cabs. We didn't have sleepers. Oh, okay. Yeah, they were all day cabs. All just day cabs. Just water heat, just water. Yeah. Water radiator heat. That was it. With those bunk, you hop back there and you click that on, it burns that oh, diesel yeah. fuel. And you don't smell it. It's hot, clean, dry air. Yeah. And that, I tell you, Mr. Sexton, that just puts me out. I sleep like a Oh, dog. I know. No, the, the diesel it's generator was what there. puts me when out. You're, when you're out there on Mondays, mm -hmm. that's your best freaking day. Yeah. Fridays and Saturdays are lonely and sad. Yeah. Monday is like awesome, dude. You turn, you wake up, your work is right. You turn around, your work is right. You crank up that Cascadia. I got a nice truck. Yeah. Brand new. Oh yeah. It's all new. Did they pay for it or? Yeah. You, yeah. you, you I'm bought a, it? I'm no. I'm a company driver. I'm not a. Not an owner operator. No. Oh okay. But it's all new. It's all brand new equipment. I've, That's I've cool. Run, I've run mom and pop equipment. Yeah. This stuff is all brand new. That's cool, man. A lot of these bikers are truck drivers. Yeah. But you know, if you travel, say you travel from Michigan, where I'm originally from, down here mm -hmm. for bike week, a toting a trailer with three or four bikes on it. That's a that's a tremendous logistical effort to get down here. Yeah. That's a lot. It's a lot. Huh? What's your test kit? Um, I might be out. Are you out? Officers and uh, cars, it's all SUV. Yeah, we have some officers and cars. I don't see vets. You see them very often. Yeah, they're trying to get rid of the cars and get us all SUVs. Do you like that? Yeah. Is that a Ford? Yep. Explorer? Ford Explorer? Yep. It seems smaller than a... Is a... Is a... Uh, what, um... Is a work? police cruiser a little different than a... No. There's a lot more stuff in it. Where do you live at now? 191 Gibson Way, Brandy Hills, Florida. Brandy, Hello? Brandy Hills, Port Orange, Florida. It's across from uh, the baseball diamond. Yeah. How long have you all, uh, or how long have you lived there? Since 1994. But see, I'm not home a lot. I'm, I'll, be, I'll go out truck. Last year, I've been out for five months. 
Oh well, what do you do for work? I drive a truck. Yeah? Who do you drive for? Who do you drive for? Lessers. Okay. They're out of St. Paul, Minnesota. Yep. How long have you been doing that? For them or just in general? How long have you been driving a truck in general? It's 97, 1997. Really? 23 years. I quit drinking in 2011. Yeah. It's almost 10 years. Huh. That's good. You think so? You don't think so? Oh, yeah. It's, it's the best thing I ever did, Mr. Hicks. I, once in a while, I drink one of those uh, old Duel. Yeah. It tastes so good. Yeah. But I, I'm so thankful. I, it was pretty tough, like, stopping. But I've been pretty, you know, like, I'll be thinking, oh, you can have an old Duel. Well, you can just have a natural light. Uh-oh. -uh. Don't do it. Don't do it, man. You guys have a pretty good bike week. I mean, in general, the incidents down. Or... Yeah. Yeah. Were you patrolling last? Or... Yep. How about the fall one? Is the fall one getting bigger? I think it gets bigger every year. Both of them. Yep. Do, you, do you ride? No. I'm doing good riding a bicycle, let alone something with a motor on it. You like riding bikes? I love riding bikes. You know, I bought, you know, I've had a lot of bicycles, but I spent close to $1,000 on a bike earlier in 2019. And I always thought, well, that's a lot of money to be paying for a bike. Yeah. So I bought a nice truck. It's an older, it's not, you know, brand new. But I paid like nine. Close to 900 for it. Really? And the thing of it is, is you know, like when you're you're riding your bike like on a like a, a like on a edge, mm -hmm. the the bigger handlebar and the bigger tires, it really holds a line. The balancing. Yeah. You can. I mean, you can really see the difference in paying an extra 600 bucks. But I mean, you gotta use it to get your money, right? I mean, you can't just buy a nice bike like that and let it sit. Yeah, for sure. But Bob's got a nice shop, Bob, down the street there, Bob's Bikes. Oh, really? Yeah. He's, huh. got, he's a real nice guy. He's got a real nice... How many police officers are here? Three? Yeah. Is that a car right there? That one? Or is that a trooper? I mean, a uh, Ford Explorer. No. That's a car, isn't it? Yeah. Is it past 11? Yes. Should never come up here. We get pretty used to the uh, third, the second shift, third, third shift. Well, we've only got two. Really? Yep, we got a day shift and a night shift. Wow, it's a long shift then, yeah? Yep, 12 hours. Wow! That's a long shift? Yep. Do you take like an hour break or anything like that? What happens if you get like really sleepy? Are you allowed to take a nap or no? I mean, at the headquarters or anything like that? Buy your energy drink. Just work through it like a truck driver. Stop and get you a coffee. Yeah, in my truck I got a coffee maker right by my boot. Yeah. I drink too much. Guys just to me, drink hot tea is better for you. Yeah, I've heard. You know how to cook collard greens and all that? Like Florida Southern cooking? It's such good food. It is. It is. So. Does it seem different when you go up north? Like to Never been up north. Always been down in the south? Yep. Did you used to be a Braves fan? Atlanta Braves? No. Not at all. Alright, enough of the question. I don't, I don't watch much sports.
Well, I guess you can't now. Yeah. I told my son, I says, yep, you want the NBA season to come to a screechy halt, just have me take interest mid-season and start following the games. I just started following so I could BS with my son about, you know, the games. And sure enough, I watched two games and, and, not, and now they stopped the season. It's just ridiculous, man. It's a sham. Just like that 9-11. If you have people come visit, what, what do you recommend to go visit? Like Disney World, Hudson Land, Down the Hatch? Do you recommend anything? Or the Lighthouse? Yeah, the Lighthouse might be good. The museum up in Daytona, Daytona Museum with the uh, sloth creature. You remember that, the sloth? It's like some kind of dinosaur. Well, I didn't even know Daytona had a museum. You know where the old Daytona police station is? It's just south of there on Nova Road. It's a nice, if they got a planetarium and stuff, it's nice. Huh. But they got a, uh, the bones from that, it's called a sloth. Yeah. It's a funny looking dinosaur sometimes. gonna get cold at all again? It's done? I think so. I think you're right. Doing all right, Scott? Yeah, I'm okay. Okay. The date today We're, is the 12th? No, today's like the 14th, 15th? 15th, right? Yeah. Or 16th Sunday? Uh, Saturday was 15th? Saturday was the 14th. Okay, so Sunday, it's Sunday the 15th. Yeah. Thanks. Yep. Well, it is down on Ridgewood right now, trust me. It is. Oh, yeah. Those motorcycles are so. I have a Japanese bike. Do you? Those bikes are so incredible. The weight, you know, they're heavy. They're big, heavy bikes, big pistons. Mm -hmm. The pistons are twice the size of my, the pistons of my bike. Yeah. So, where do you live? You know where Brandy Hills is? Yeah. Yeah, right in there. Okay. Who do you live with? Me and uh, 
I got one roommate. Do you? What's his name? Jim. Jim. How are you? You need something? Oh, you just taking a picture? Sure. Hey, my name's Jim. What's Jim do? Just taking a picture. What's Jim do? He's retired. Sure. Hey, my name's Jim. He's retired. Okay. I think he collects a little disability, but I'm not sure. Oh, yeah. He kind of keeps to himself. I got you. The, is it your house or his house? It's my house. It's your house? Cool. Are you from Florida? I am. So was Mr. Nick. Yeah. I said, what's it like? Does it seem strange when you go to northern, like New York or Michigan? Or, I guess I've never been up to... you never been to up, like New York and all that? Who, me? Yeah. I've been everywhere. Oh, yeah, that's what I was going to ask you. I thought you were a truck driver. No, I was talking to Mr. Hicks. Oh. Because he's from here, too. Yeah. And I said, does it seem strange when you, if you go into, like, a northern state? Like, it definitely he is. He says, well, I don't know. I, I don't go there. He says, I don't. He's never been up there. I've been to New York. I know, but did you imagine been to... your whole life and never going to see, like, even the western states? No, nah, far as the furthest west I've been is Oklahoma. You got to take that. That's pretty. You got to take 80 and uh, cross Wyoming. Yeah. That's my favorite road. It's nothing but a big, cold, lonely road that goes straight across. And those guys that do the oil and gas up there, their pickup trucks are bigger than my 18-wheeler. Oh, wow. I mean, exaggerating, but... Yeah, they're, they're big. Sexton, but they're just... I'm just saying, they're, they were here during Bike Week, too. Yeah. I mean, I mean, yeah, they got some big trucks. I mean, you look at my pickup, and you see those some of those pickups. Yeah. They're monsters. Yeah. Yeah, some of them are pretty I big. Can't even imagine running one of those, but they're not. They do get better gas miles than you think. Don't yeah. They? Oh, the newer yeah. ones do. As, as big as they are, they get better gas miles than you think. The newer ones do. Yeah. So. I couldn't believe they stopped making the Ranger for like four, three or four years. Well, longer than that. The new one's yeah. nice, but it's just a, it's just a They're force. They're expensive, man. Yeah. For the baseline. Quit making it. The baseline model's like forty thousand like dollars, man. I like the old one. Yeah, forty thousand dollars. I drove one. Did you? Yeah, just... I had to put my truck in for service, and they gave me a rental or like a loaner. It's nice. Huh? And it was a brand new twenty twenty Ranger. Is it nicer than your Explorer? I mean, your work car? Oh yeah. A whole lot nicer. Really? Oh, yeah, yeah. They're nice. It's not but as powerful. I, that close? Joker got up. Is it close? Yeah, it'd go. It would go. But not on the top, top, right? Not on the top end? No. Nope. Yeah, they got that lane Wait, assist in your, in and everything. Training, do you guys have to open this cruisers up to top speed? Mm -hmm. Well, not top speed. We will. Top speed, that's for emergencies only. Uh, we wouldn't even open that, open them up I mean, on, in training, for training. You go like 110. No. 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 There's no need. I mean, it's dangerous. You know, there's no need to do that during training and risk hurting yourself. Do you go up to 90 or No. I, thought maybe I think in training, 45, maybe maybe 50 I miles an maybe hour. maybe they had some, like, you know, if you're in pursuit, you might have, like, a training that you're going 70 or so. I don't know. I'm just asking. No, I mean, we do I'm a lot of I'm just curious. lower speed maneuvers and stuff like that. So, same it keeps you sharp. Same vehicle, Explorer, Portix. When I went through, we did them in Crown Vicks. Big old heavy. Boats, man. I remember hauling those things, man. Yeah. They'd be on the tail of the, the hauler, uh -huh. and that thing would bounce. I had one on there, and the lady put all her belongings in there, and that thing scraped going through Baltimore. I bet. I had to stop and readjust it. That's crazy. But when I was hauling cars, they didn't have that GPS. Yeah. About a year after they had it, and I was like, man, that would have been so helpful. Yeah, you had your big old Atlas book in there. I would pick up these sun, uh, what do you call them, sun, winter's, 
you know, people going to Miami, mm -hmm. I'd pick up their car in Jersey, and they would fly down, right? Yeah. And they'd put some stuff in it. Some people put too much stuff. But then you'd ask the lady, you'd say, well, how do I get to your house? Well, her husband did all that. Yeah. She goes, I don't know. It was just, it would have been easier with that GPS. Oh, yeah. <coughs> I guess that guy that called on me must be over there watching. He kind of, like, was looking around and stuff. I asked him, I said, are the, uh, is the computer working or whatever, you know, because from the shift change. Right. And he thought I was being smart to him. So he goes, eh. I don't know what you're talking about, man. I just asked you a question, that's all. Right. But he, to he totally took it like I was... You got some of these good people around here, they're like, oh, yeah, well, let's, you know... It's just like, what's wrong with you? I just yeah. asked you a question. I got you. <laughs> and then he gets in the car with his girlfriend, drives around, and then I guess he called the police. I told him, I said, look, man, I, I got nothing against you. I just asked you a simple question. Mm -hmm. And then he runs over there to the porthole... Whatever, man. I got gotcha. you. Who needs it? Who needs it? Small town of bullshit. Gotta get that windshield fixed. So I can use that. Truck. If you get full coverage on it, you can get it fixed for free. <coughs> <coughs> Someone said to check. I have a. I have Geico. Geico for my truck and. The other one's uh, progressive for my motorcycle. Yeah. And that progressive has full coverage, but that Geico's not full coverage. I don't think they would help fix the. I should I, check. I think though. it has to be full coverage to I fix the check, windshield. Yeah, I should check anyway. But you can get a windshield put in for $100, $120. That's not yet. bad. You come right to your house and do it too. You don't necessarily have mm -hmm. to take it to the glass shop. Get that done, that'd be nice. And I gotta get that light fixed on that tag. So it lights up that tag. Yeah. It's a good truck though. When I first bought it, I was like, man, I'd like to put a V8 in there. It don't need no V8. It's fine the way it is. Yeah. Does your pickup got a V8? Mm-hmm. Mr. Scott. Yes, sir. I'm just going to read you something real quick, all right? Just going to read you your rights. Okay. At this point, you're not under arrest. I just need to ask you some questions, okay, all right? Okay, all right. On the, is there a recording? Yeah. Okay. My camera and his camera is oh, both video and audio. Yep. Whole time. whole time. Yes, sir. You good? You have the right to remain silent. In anything you say may be used evidence against you. You have the right to talk to an attorney, have him or her with you now or in any time during questioning. If you're not a foreign attorney, we'll be appointed to represent you. If anytime you wish to stop talking, you have an attorney present. All questioning will be stopped at your request. Do you understand these rights? Yes, sir. With these rights in mind, are you willing to speak with me? Yes. Okay. What, well, um... <clears throat> so the, the pipe that fell out of your pocket, that little metal pipe, smoking pipe? Yeah, yes, sir. We tested it, and it's not testing for him. Okay. Do you have a medical marijuana card? I do not. You do not. Okay. Um, do you smoke regular cannabis on the, I um, mean? We, I share that pipe with my roommate. He smokes cannabis. I try and smoke hemp because I am a truck driver. Uh-huh. So you're, you're saying your roommate smokes? Regular, and I smoke Regular hemp. cannabis, and you smoke hemp. And he used my pipe, so I don't know. Okay. What, you gotta do what you gotta do, sir. When's, when's the last time you used the pipe? Earlier today. Yeah. How early are we talking? Around 6, 6 p.m. 6 p.m.? Okay. And when's the last time your roommates used it? He used it earlier today as well. He was around what time were we around, talking? Maybe around, I just after lunch he was around. He was helping me do some yard work. So would you say around From noon two, to uh, 3? Just, just after noon, between noon and 3. Okay. How often do you uh, how often do you smoke? What, hemp once a day. Once a day. Sometimes I smoke it in the evening. Okay. Do you ever smoke regular cannabis? Yes. You do. 
Could I be what's in that pipe? As regular? Between, between him and I. Yeah. Okay. Yes, sir. Okay. Um. Is there anything else in the truck that we're going to find? No. No. Just, just go ahead. Look all you want. Okay. What um. I mean, is it just personal use, or, I mean, what? It just helps with my arthritis to help. Okay. He puts regular in there, and I tell him, you know, clean the thing out. I just use my own pipe. Yeah, I mean, that's what I would do. Especially with all these colds and flus and stuff going around, and I wouldn't be using anything. Not someone else is putting their mouth on. Um... Is cannabis the only thing that you smoke? Yes. I don't smoke none of that crack or meth or nothing. People think I do, but I don't. Okay. And you said that that's only hemp in there? Or that's all you smoke that's in That's all there. I put in it. But so you do smoke the regular cannabis? He smokes regular cannabis. I smoke hemp. Okay, you just told me you smoke regular cannabis. I did? Yeah. I meant he smokes regular oh. can I smoke him. He used my pipe, but he don't normally use my pipe. He just didn't have his. He used it, so I mean. Okay. Well, Mr. Sexton told me though it's in your possession. You're basically. Yeah. You gotta, I mean, I got to answer for it. I understand that. Yeah, you're taking it. So I mean, it is testing for regular cannabis. All right. Um. So at this time. You'll be charged for it, um, for the paraphernalia. Might you gonna be taken into custody? Well, you're being placed under arrest at this time. Um, we're gonna see if we can get you a release well, on the NTA. Might talk or... have to be told and all that. We're gonna figure all that out for you. Okay. All right. Remember what we talked about? Notice to appear. Yes, sir. If you've been honest with me and all that stuff. Yeah, with the court dates. Yep. Yeah. Um, yeah, I want to do one more. Then, then search on it. we'll have something to go um, off of. But for now, just, just relax, okay? Just be cool with us. We'll be cool with you. You mind if I lean over? Can you sit with him for a second? Yeah. I live in Brandy Hills. Oh, okay. Yeah, I've been there for about 20 years. Yeah, I, that windshield's terrible. I just came up to get gas for my scooter and my lawnmower. For, I want to get up early morning. Possibly go to church, but we'll you see. Uh, White Chapel. My in-laws go there. It's the one in uh, where War Warren. It's, well, it's called White Chapel, but it's Warren and Christian Academy Christian School. Academy. Yes, ma'am. Done. Get up, but you just, just grab me when I do it. Yeah, we're gonna help you. Yeah, out. I mean, we're gonna okay. assist you. There we go. Excellent. Oh. All right. Yeah. 
I know so you're there, but I'm just going to do a little more thorough research, all right? Yeah, go do what you got to do. All right, spread so your like, feet. Let it sit down anyway. Scott, spread your feet real wide, okay? Sorry. You're okay. How many pairs of pants you got on? I got a pair of shorts on, and I was, I was working, and I was using a strap to move a piece of furniture. Okay. And then I turned around, and the strap, the hook grabbed my, got my pocket, and it wrecked the shorts, and that's when I put these long. Okay, so these I, are regular. I, I didn't want to, like, take the time to actually change out the shorts. I just put these on over top to, because my shorts were ripped. Okay, so if we pull these down, it's not yeah, going to expose anything, yeah, it right? it will. Yeah, it will? Yeah. Where, where I mean, are they ripped? I don't mind if you do it, but open the door. All right, well, no, I'm not going to do that. You I don't spread mind your feet. if you do it. Spread just open feet. that door. Spread your feet. It's going to be a 701. There you go. Okay. You can move them down a little. No, no, it's all right. Okay. That's okay. We don't have to pull them down. We don't want to yes, let nothing fall out. That would be good. Spread your feet for me. Can you keep your head up for me? Alright. Get in? Yep. I'm oh, gonna dog tricks so we'll see. Thank you. Yep.
Hey, yeah. hit you unlock. Hey, Scott. Yeah. Hey, just a quick question. Um, you remember the uh, rights that Officer Hicks read to you? Yeah. Do you still understand those? Yes. Okay, will you answer a question of mine? Sure. Okay, what's the white powdery stuff in the in the truck? Probably um, ant killer or something. Ant killer? Pesticide. Okay. Um, what kind of consistency did that have? Just like baking. Like, oh, that's, yeah, that's right. I moved the refrigerator. Lady had a uh, big bowl of, like, arm and hammer or something in the bowl. Okay. So it's not going to test positive for methamphetamine, cocaine, heroin, no, or I nothing mean, like that? you can that. test it, but it's bake it. I mean, let's she used methamphetamine to put it at the bottom of the I got you. I got you. You know, obviously we got to check it, but it was I a figured big dish, I'd And then I dumped the dish out, but then I put the dish in the front of the truck. Okay. On the seat. So you just okay. All right, watch your knees. Just so you know, I, I scrap. Like, okay. you know what I mean? Like, yeah, that's a fine. Junker. That's cool. No, just watch your knees. That's like real, like, grainy.
I ain't going to law school. Did you like that part of your training? What, the law part of it? Yeah, a lot to know, huh? It's a lot to know. I mean, it's good to know, obviously, if you're going to get this type of work. Well, Florida's but... got pretty good laws, don't they? I mean, for the most part. Yeah. Protect the uh, public. I mean, if, if they got a guy on detainer, like he's a he's a felon or something like that, and he's, he's an uh, alien, wouldn't they notify ICE? I don't know. Because then the ice got to go in the uh, neighborhood and get the guy, where that, whereas he's in a uh, secure environment. The officers can go in there and get him and deport him or whatever they do. But they make it harder for the border uh, patrol. These aren't guys that just cross the border. These are guys that did some serious crime. And the same American citizens are serving, uh, what, 10 years? These guys get turned out and, uh, That's a bunch of horse shit. Does it throw water at the New York City policeman? Yeah. That's just, that's insane. They should be taken in and charged. Can't, can't assault an officer. I got resisting one time, but uh, I think it got, or it was resisting with violence. And it wasn't, it really wasn't with violence. But if you just, even if I touch your arm, that's resisting with violence, right? No, there's got to be certain steps that, I mean, obviously elevates the charge. I mean, resisting arrest is one thing, but resisting with violence, I think that's a felony. Yeah. I don't know if resisting arrest is a felony. I don't think so. Resisting is a misdemeanor. But with resisting violence, with violence is a felony, I believe, yeah. I think, yeah, I think I kept charged with violence. Sexton asked me, he says, did you have any missed court dates? I said, no, sir, I'm pretty sure much I made all my court dates. But if you get charged with uh, possession of something and you have missed court dates, then I would I'd most likely be incarcerated, right? Yep. So when I see a judge, like tomorrow or something? Yeah. They'll send it to your address. They'll mail it to you. Usually a couple months away and the next month. <coughs> that I can't tell you. Uh, uh, 
it's like a pad, it's like a band-aid, and it's, it's like a heat, heat patch. It's a patch. You peel off the sticker. Like an icy hot? Yeah, it's kind of like that. It, it helps. Yeah. I've been using them, and they really, it's like having a heat pad. They work good. CVS has them, and I tried the other brand, it was a little bit more expensive. CVS is one one work fine. But if you ever have a sore back, I recommend them. They, they help a lot. I, was, I go home on a whole lot. You said your friend or your roommate? He's my friend, he's my roommate. What's his name? Jim. Jim what? You mean his last name? Yeah. I think it's Pauli. P-A-U-L-I. Um, not why I'm writing this report. But I'm not far from being done. Okay, I just, uh, I'm just in, I'm in pain. In pain? What's wrong? Just, just sore of like being uh, handcuffed. And okay. Do you have any shoulders or back problems? Y yeah. You do? The shoulder blades separate both, both of them. Okay. Um, I mean, officer. It's not, it's not unbearable. I'm just. Officer Sexton, uh, officer Sexton is on his way up here, and as soon as he gets here. I'll place the cuffs in front while I finish my report. What's your birth, uh, date of birth? Makes you how old? 54, 53, somewhere. Close enough. Three. Your license expires this year, so you need to, uh, get that renewed, alright, man? Yep. Yeah, she asked me when I got that replacement. I got the new, I got the new replacement. Yeah. Do you know what your social is? Yeah. What is it? That sounds like a phone number. You got it? Your social is what I'm asking you. Yeah, it's what I give you. Oh, I'm sorry. Wait, wait, it's three. Tractors coming out of his ear. Oh, yeah. Up in Michigan. Spin for me? I got that in Bunnell. It's a nice tractor. When, when I worked, yeah. I, my my friend said, When are you going to sell that thing? And I said, I'll do your hands real quick. Like, I can't. There we go. Your friend asked you when you're going to sell it? Yeah, he wants me to sell it. I just sold a 450 uh, uh, dirt bike. It was an older one, like a 2006. Yeah. But it was like, it was like, uh, like it just was come out of the showroom, like brand. I mean, it was that clean. Yeah. How much you get for it? I only ran, I only rode it, like one or two times. Yeah. I got what I paid for it, but it was like, it was a 2006, but it was so clean. I got you. I wish I could have kept it. You know what this might be? Here? What's up? 
It might, might be uh, the campground over there. Yeah, maybe. Right, it's 2 o'clock in the morning. People are probably starting to peter out. Better? Yeah, thank you. Yeah. Um, do you just want to hang around? I'm going to send you the, the narrative for that 707. Okay. See what you think about it. That's Before you send it, Sarge? Yeah, it's only one page on Word document. Okay. Not a lot happened, I mean. No, we got, we he got stepped out for this. He stepped out, thing fell, picked it up. Well, you can add in there, um, I'll be texting advice while talking, or while looking into the vehicle from the passenger side. Yeah, Clearly that's all saw, in there. Yeah. Saw a pipe on his lap. Stepped out. He hit the ground. He tried to conceal it back into his pocket. On the ground. Uh, we retrieved the item. Tested presumptive positive. received a call like I said that you were busting your windshield uh -huh. and screaming while you were getting gas so based on the report that we were we received so you had to check it out yeah I mean I don't know if you're I just was curious why it was stopped it stopped yeah. for a wealth welfare check yeah just, pretty much just checking it out what's going on just yep. got a complaint. they come out as a suspicious person so I mean which that that kind of is suspicious you know oh you yeah 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 so. I wasn't banging on the windshield, I was cleaning out the back and throwing the shit on the ground and then yeah. like sorting it out and then throwing the stuff in the trash and then putting the stuff back inside the... I got you. That, that tailgate don't go down. No. I mean, it will, I gotta fix it, but... Uh, I mean, that that's what they might have thought I was smashing the windshield when they saw it broke, but I wasn't I wasn't hitting it, I was cleaning, yeah. it. I was cleaning out the back. People call for... And I was complaining about being quiet as heck on Saturday, you know, because... Supposed to be busy. Supposed to be... I'm not complaining about it being quiet. Well, you know, I'm just saying, the hospitality business is very common. You know? I mean, it's not mine anymore. It's friends of mine. It might be if I don't get back trucking. When was the last time you were on your truck? I, got, I, t I took off at Thanksgiving uh -huh. and haven't been back to work since. Oh, jeez. I went back after Christmas and I turned in a report of when I had my knee looked at. That's when I run into trouble. Yeah, it's, it's been, uh... Yeah, pull him out. I'll get that ready for him to sign. Oh, shit. You're not going to see your name, but it'll pop up. Perfect. All right, 
step back there with him. Um. <clears throat> I'm obviously taking your pipe. Um, but when you have an old, is this an ID or a driver's license? No, it's a driver's license. It's so a driver's license from like way back when. Is it better off not even just if I didn't have it? You know what I mean? That's expired, so I mean it. You're better off just telling them. I know my driver's license by heart because I'm a truck driver. Right? Yeah. I mean, I mean if, if you don't have it, if you don't, if I don't have my current one, is it better not to have one at all? I mean, as far as. What you think, Sexton? What that? Having a. I have my, I have a regular one, but it's this. Yeah, but producing a driver's license is expired in 2001. I think it's only a misdemeanor if they're put in possession of a suspended driver's license. Yeah. Or multiple. I'm not sure about the expired one. It's just to have the current one. Rather, just, just get the one that's good and keep it on you. You can pull your britches up if you want to. Don't want your glory hanging out. Yes, sir. Jesus Christ, what'd you print out? You had a toe form that hadn't printed yet. Bro, I just need him to sign. We'll sign two papers, all right? One for you, one for me. I don't know why they make you sign your paper. I think it's kind of ridiculous, but I say you have to, so you have to. It's the same report, same thing. Two of them. I guess to have one for his. Yeah, just have him sign it and go, and then you submit that, right? <laughs> you guys wouldn't know, but if, if I'm found guilty on that, does that mean you're in jail? Not necessarily. I, it's the judge. Oh, that's what you mean. Yeah. Hey, it's, dude, it's only a misdemeanor. It's not the end of the world. Come, Come here, boss. That'd be for truck driver. All right. Drug stuff. Anything drug. Yeah. Here. Right here. Thank you for your professionalism. Yeah, tonight. This is your copy? Yes, sir. Um. Oh, I appreciate it. This will have a court date. You get mailed your court date. This is just a uh, charge and report. Yep. You don't want to lose it, right? Nope. The case number? What's the case number? 
Both up. Right up there is case number. Yep, I'll circle it for you. Are you looking for a farmer? Huh? You're not looking for a farmer, are you? Needs, I gotta put points in it. Hasn't, hasn't run in a while. It does run though. Probably 21, 22. Somewhere in there. Needs some work. The engine's okay though. So this is your copy, that's one you signed? Case number circle at the top for you, alright? Okay, thank you. Get that windshield fixed, man, alright? Yeah, yeah, I gotta do that this week. You can get a moving violation for that. 166. I'm going, I'm going straight home from. I'm going straight to 191 right now. Then. Huh. Oh. I didn't get a ticket for that, did I? Nope. The only thing you got is what's in your hands right now. Notice to appear for. Possession of drug paraphernalia? Yep. That's, that's the charge, right? Yep. Can I get to go? Yep. Yeah, Thanks, Mr. Sexton. Thanks, Mr. Head. See you, Yep. Yeah, it's okay, but he won't put it on Project Madness.